Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we've got to kill ourselves a Yagwai. So the quest is Flavors of Mayhem, which is an absolutely fantastic and so much fun um, of a quest line. It's just crazy. So let's go do what we need to do. Let's get this first piece out of the way. So there's the Yagwai up there. So we need to approach him with this weird gun. The, the, the syringe gun. And we hit him with the syringe. And boom. We're off. A timer starts on the mission quest. Look, he's got me pinned against the tree already. What this does is it frenzies him. But only for a few seconds. And then it does the opposite. And he gets drowsy for a few seconds. That's where you can do the damage. You should really be running from him during frenzy. Circling trees or whatever. And during the drowsy phase. That's when you've got to offload your damage into him. You've also got a timer on it, so I've got a minute 30 remaining to drop him. I've swapped up to the shotgun now. I'm going to do this uh, close and personal because what I was doing just was not working. It was not working for me at all, and as soon as I spotted the time limit, I was like, all right. You know what? I have I have some stim packs. I can, I can get in close and uh, do this. So I'm trying to get my gun loaded here for his next drowsy phase, and here we are. Popping by the tree, get a second and try to get out of that. I'm lucky that I have this um, Raider variant power armor. Um, but the damage isn't too severe. I'm able to offset a few hits with a stim pack, no problem. There's nothing too major, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable in the fight. Normally, I take people like this in a circle and I just run around a tree, but I'm quite happy taking him in the open. It's an absolutely crazy thing to send us doing, right? <laughs> Rose is nuts. All right, let's listen into Rose. Word to the wise, that karma stuff can backfire on you if you're not careful. And take it from me, you don't want to use it on yourself. Unless, you know, you're really confident you can kill everything around you before it wears off. Okay. Next, we've got explosions. <laughs> the trappers would rig up bait with explosives to take on some of the more dangerous game out there. I want you to go make some explosive bait and don't blow your fingers off in the process. You're not a robot like me. No replacement hands for you. All right, so next is explosive bait. Pretty easy enough to make. Parts are very common. If you don't have them, a bit more gameplay and you should have it in no time. Let's hear what Rose has to say. Great, you've got yourself some gross meat covered explosives, but now what? Well, use your imagination. The trapper sure did. Any hungry carnivore is sure to be drawn in by the smell of fresh meat. So this one time Chuck, he was the guy who came up with this crazy idea. He laid out explosive bait along the trail after a raid. Then, when the responders came looking for us with their tracking dogs, well, let's just say the hounds lost their scent. You know, because their heads were blown off. <laughs> Whatever, you get what I'm saying. I don't care what you use your bait on. Just use it to kill some things that would kill and eat you. Let me know how it works for you. Ah, good old Rose. Okay, so we need to use our explosive bait on something. Cool. Uh, near a hungry carnivore. The meat should attract a creature, and explosives will detonate. Alright. That makes sense. So we go near a carnivore, we drop some meat, we run away, hopefully it's attracted, and it gets blown up and the quest is done. Brilliant. What could possibly go wrong? All right, so we're going to fast travel in there now and get to work. So it's just up ahead. One thing we have to remember to do is to actually equip it. Otherwise, what's the point? And let's get to work. The carnivores in this section, of course, are, uh, I think, wolves or dogs or something like that. Kind of the hint she gave with the um, responders with their dog trackers. So, we're just going to keep heading towards our mission marker, which is just right there. The other side of the fence is what I'm starting to realize. 
So I'm trying to find a spot where I could get over. And look, I see a doggy in the distance. But that's not the spot. Now, I don't know if throwing the bait down here would work as opposed to on the mission marker. I didn't want to risk it because I, at the time, I only had enough materials to craft one. So if this doesn't pan out for me, then you know I've got to go back to regular gameplay until I realize I have enough materials to proceed again. So now that I've dropped the doggies, I'm going to head over to the spot. Nothing really loot worthy here. Three, two, one, and we drop it. And get the hell out of there. So the idea is it attracts a carnivore who comes over to eat the meat and it explodes. Right. Right. So we're going to watch. And. Wait, look, here comes a doggy. And look, it's running to me. But even though the explosive didn't go off. The quest still progresses. Thank God. As cruel as the trappers were, the diehards were the exact opposite. Don't let their name fool you. The trapper is a stubborn ass. But couldn't bear to commit unprovoked violence. Pacifists. I don't know much about their special tactics. Did they have any? I don't know. Go find a. Deathclaw and make friends with it or something. And she's deadly serious. We now need to approach a Deathclaw and make friends. So, <laughs> this one got me into, I guess as a Deadpool would say, maximum effort mode. I was battle ready coming in here. I have uh, repaired my weapons. I have some, a buff out or something along those lines on my wheel, ready to apply. And once I figured out where the death claw was, I decided to approach it again from height. I was hoping that I could get low enough here near the marker point to, quote, make friends with it, but yet keep myself safe just in case I couldn't. Um, however, it doesn't pan out. You actually, there's the death claw. You actually need to get up close and personal with it to make friends with it. And to make friends with it, pretty much, you get close. I'm on PlayStation, so it'll be the X button. It'll just appear, make friends, and you tap X. And that's all there is to it. You wish. You know, I knew that was a setup going in. It was just too good to be true. It's like, how do you make friends with a death claw? All right, so next we need to steal from a super mutant camp. Pretty easily accessible on the map. We're going to make an approach. It's, it's not very heavily defended at all. I think there's three or four. One is a boss. 
but didn't cause me too much trouble. So here we go. There's one. I'm just trying to remember where they're all at. Oh, up top. Up top. Cannot ah, there you go. Cannot is die. I'm super mutant. This one's a level 5. I'm not sure what they'll be for you. I don't even know if they're the same for everyone or not. I hope they are. There's the, the boss is a 16. So it wasn't too much trouble either. Granted, it took me a minute or two to get through this, but it was nothing. Nothing special, nothing a shotgun won't mow down up close, and a scoped weapon won't take care of at distance. And you know what? This super mutant boss has some incredibly good loot on him, or at least has loot on him. Ping, 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 ping. I was very, very happy with that haul. Head inside and go to the wooden crate and steal a bunch of stuff. Alright, so we have to go here and we need to kill a ghoul. Um, actually, I got sidetracked by a daily mission and it just so happened in this daily mission that I came across one of these ghouls. I actually came across two of them. And those count, so you don't actually need to go to that location, you just need to kill a feral ghoul. You can go to location if you want, not needed. Now, I don't have the perk card that you need, or I totally would. So, if you have the perk card, then by all means, eat the damn thing. I don't, so I can't. So, it's time to head back to Rose, and let's get this quest concluded. Nice, 52 damage, plus one strength. I really like this knife. All right, so we move on to the next quest, which is key to the past, and the one I will do next. It will be appearing uh, the left side of your screen, 
So you can click on that if you want to see what's next. If this video was any bit useful or you liked it at all, please do hit that like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy, all the best.